my fucking arms aren't any fucking bigger. I've been on steroids for five years, have I? I'm a fucking steroid addict. How come my arms are even bigger? What's up with that? Some people, now this video is about filters, creating filters in your life. Certain situations create filters. It's all about filtering, good, bad, whatever, neutral. Filters, this whole recent drama with doing right is a fucking steroid addict, etc. It becomes a filter. It lets me filter out. This is a hypothetical video here, this is a metaphorical video. This situation lets me filter out people who want to jump on the hate wagon and just looking for any reason to hate me. They're just looking for any reason to hate me. They're just jealous. I'm not jealous of anyone. If you know anybody on the planet that has more freedom in their life right now than me, let me know. Because I'd like to go hang out with them and learn some tips from them. I don't know anybody who has more daily freedom, a greater participation in their daily reality than myself. Not to say I'm the fucking king dick enough, I'm just saying that's what I've created. I create my reality. I create my participation in my daily reality. I'm not jealous of anyone. I admire people. I despise some people. But in a loving sort of way, I just like, you're a fucking troll, fuck off. But I don't have jealous for anyone. But people have jealousy for me, and it shows. So this whole steroid thing, the skiing, doing doing riders like with his fucking 20-inch biceps, you know, all this stuff. People take it out of context all the time. But it creates filters. It lets me know who wants to be a hater. Any reason to hate. It shows me who is not that up to speed with how steroids work or what steroids even are. That an asthma puffer is a steroid. The contraceptive pill is a sex steroid. A testosterone nanth ejection is a sex steroid. So it creates filters of like, well, who's actually educated? Who's actually done steroids? You know? How many pound hand critics actually done sex steroids? Anabolic sex steroids. Not many of them. Like okay, zero, 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 zero point percent. But they're experts because they read a fucking internet. Someone even said that there's no way anabolic steroids help bone healing. So I did, I had corrective jaw surgery. If you can tell, my bite is a lot more clean. It used to be like that. It used to be like buck tooth Billy. Overbite. My mum couldn't afford braces when I was a kid, so I just eventually had to overbite and progressively worse and worse as I, as I get older. But I've got money and I've got some corrective surgery uh, two years ago. And two years ago, 2015, 2014. 2014. So, and during that surgery, I took micro doses of testosterone and anthate, etc. And it definitely helps the healing. And here's a little PubMed thing. Because people who don't, people who say, no doctor would prescribe anabolic, that's true. No doctor would. So sometimes in, sometimes in your life, you have to be your own fucking doctor. So it says, they only prescribe painkillers and antibiotics. I don't take any antibiotics. My immune system's good. Painkillers I took. Because getting your fucking jaw drilled, that hurts. That hurts. My heart goes out to all those people who don't have painkillers back in the day before anesthesia, etc. So I took therapy dosages of anabolic androgen hormones, steroids, small amounts, because I didn't want to get big, because I love to cycle my bike. And when every kilo extra you got is an extra kilo you have to carry up the hill. What's the point of having a super light bike if you're tanked? It's stupid. So I took a little bit, people lost their shit. But I was transparent about it. Everyone knows because I told you. I could have kept it all secret like most people do. But I wanted to show people what goes on, how easy it is to get anabolic steroids from the local doctor, how easy it is to get the contraceptive pill from your local family doctor. Easy. So I did all these videos being transparent, showing people. People take me out of context because people haters want to hate. And some people, uneducated people, were shocked. They're like, oh my god, why would you do this? Like, it's artificial. It's all... But they don't understand their therapeutic benefits. If someone has pimples and they're a teenage girl and they go to the doctor, chances are the doctor's going to give them sex steroids. I'm not, I do not recommend taking sex steroids like the contraceptive pill for some pimples. This contraceptive pill, the Marina IUD, etc., are known carcinogens. Why would you take a known carcinogen long term? to heal up a few spots. When you just clean your diet up, do some sport. Go to bed earlier, put, stop putting cake and stuff on your face. But girls get given that stuff, no one blinks an eyelid, do it, be transparent, say, hey, I had some surgery, and I was curious. I took anabolic steroids, people lose their shit. Oh, you're a doper. I don't even fucking race anymore. How much prize money have I won in the last 10 years? Maybe 100 bucks in 10 years. <laughs> 
like, what, what do people, but again, haters want to hate, people want to make out of context, and noobs might not understand. So I do, I explain myself, I do the repeat videos so the noobs and people I know in person can understand, get educated. Because I see some people, they worship guys and girls who are actually on steroids and lying about it, but then I'm honest about it, and they're like, oh, I don't really trust her anymore. This is weird. So I understand why people lie about doing stuff in life because often when, you, when, you, when you're honest, man, you get punished. But I would rather just be honest and transparent about things like that rather than mislead people, 100%. So people go, do an EPO test, do a carbon dioxide ratio test. EPO tests don't even work. I can take EPO and no one's gonna know. Except, you see on Strava, my 20 minute power would be about 420 watts. So when you see me doing a 20 minute climb at 420 watts, you can guarantee I'm an EPO. Micro dosing testosterone or any anabolic steroid will not give you that much boost from 380 at uh, 10 minutes on a good day to 420 for 20 minutes. No anabolic steroid will do that. No anabolic steroid will do that at all. It's not how it works. But EPO, that'll work. But I've never done it and I've never no, I'm not gonna say I never would, but I would do it if it was like some you know, CNN thing. There's like a team doctor and Tyler Hamilton was in the room, or Lance, you know, Lance Armstrong. If Lance Armstrong was there, like monitoring my blood, showing how to do it, that'd be fucking good. Good for views, good for curiosity, good for a social experiment, definitely. But filters, let's get back to the filters. So if these situations filter filter out people in life. They filter out, and then you can tell people the truth. And then if they're still hating, they're either just they're, they're a hater, or they're just not the sort of people you want in your life. Like even like shoes, all right? Not sponsored. Actually, I got given these by Archer, but not sponsored. You always see me with really good footwear because I footwear is a filter for me. I need footwear that I can do anything. I can go run a marathon. I could, you know, if I can rescue someone, rescue myself. I can just engage in shit. So you always see me with proper footwear now. Occasionally, I use road shoes, but very, very rarely. Flip flops. Fans flip flops from a hotel. I'm not sure even sure whose these are. But what size are they? 39 40. Flip flops. I almost kill myself wearing flip flops. So your shoes, your shoes are a filter. They filter out what experiences you can have in life. Your honesty is a filter. Your deceit is also a filter. And it, it create we're creating filters in life to filter in people out people. The harder you push the truth, the harder you push your personal opinion. In public, etc., you will create filters. You will turn people off, you'll turn people on. So, I highly recommend people out there create more filters in your life. Don't be afraid to share what you really mean and put it out there. I don't really care if people like me or not. I would rather just share my story, share my journey. People are going to always take me out of context. So, should I uh, stop sharing my journey, sharing my opinion and experiences because some small vocal minority of people want to get some YouTube hits and take me out of context. Should I stop being Pali? Should I stop being Duran Rider because of a small minority of vocal morons? No, and I don't recommend you do either. So if you've got something helpful to say, that's basically, this is how I run, rule my life, run my life. If I have something helpful that I feel may assist other people help themselves, I will say it no matter what the repercussions, no matter what people say about me. If I, I'm, my highest value in life is contribution. So if I can give you a tip from my personal experience, if you can learn from my mistakes, I'm going to share it. And I'm not afraid of ridicule, etc. I'll turn off the comments for maybe a few hours just so people can listen to the start of the video. But then I'll, all the comments are back on again. All the ratings back on. I'm not scared of what people say about me at all. So I encourage people to create filters Bottom line, if you if you if you want to if you're in your family right, and you want to say something to someone because you think it might help them help themselves, then you should say it. And if anyone gives you a hard time for it, that's a filter that you've just created, and that's giving you clarity in your life to move forward on and to take action on. So don't be sad or depressed or angry or feel rejected. Just sit down, have some water, have some sugar, maybe get a pen and write down your feelings and write down what's just happened. And say, what sort of filter did I just create? Have I just saved myself a lot of time, energy, stress, and money by being honest with someone and getting shut down or getting rejected? And the answer most likely is going to be yes. So don't be afraid to create filters. Don't be afraid to stand up. Speak up. 
if you feel that your experiences, your opinion, your observations may help people help themselves, save the animals and the planet and society at the time, same time. Sorry, I sound a little cool then, but speak up, man. Don't be afraid of fucking haters. I certainly ain't. Bottom line, say what you mean. Mean what you say. Those that mind do not matter. And those that matter do not mind.